Hello class, today for science, we are gonna continue our lesson on investigating force and motion. Our target will be, I can describe the effects of friction on an object. Before we talk about friction, we're gonna have a quick discussion on force and motion. So let's begin. So a force is a push or a pull. When the wind pushes a sailboat through the water, it is exerting a force. When gravity pulls an apple towards the ground, that is a, for a force as well. Forces can make things move, change their speed, or change their shape. Some forces act when two things touch. For example, when a person kicks a soccer ball. Other forces act over a distance, such as the pull of gravity or a magnet pulling a piece of metal. Then we have motion. Motion means moving from one place to another. The length of a line between the start and end of a motion is the distance traveled. The time you take to travel this distance depends on your speed. Fast movements cover more distance in a shorter amount of time. A force can make something go from standing still or moving slowly to moving very quickly. This is called acceleration or increasing speed. So then we have forces. Forces are interactions between objects, uh, which is a push or a pull. Forces can make an object speed up, slow down, change direction, or change its speed. Then you have a push is the force that moves an object away from something, like when you push a plate away. A pull is the force of bringing an object closer. Then we have friction. Friction is a force that restricts or stops the movement of two solid objects sliding along each other. Like Patrick here, sliding his hands back and forth, he is creating friction. So what is friction? Friction is the resistance of motion when one object rubs against the other. Anytime two objects rub against each other, they cause friction. Friction works against the motion and acts in the opposite direction. Friction and energy. When one object is sliding on another, it starts to slow down due to friction. This means it loses energy. However, the energy doesn't appear, uh, disappear. It changes from moving energy, also known as kinetic, to heat energy. This is why we, uh, when we rub our hands together, when it's cold, we get warm. By rubbing them together, we generate friction and therefore it creates heat. So if you look at some of the examples here, I have our friction. So the little piggy here that's scratching his little back, he is creating friction by rubbing up against the wall. Then we have the car here that's uh, doing a burnout um, and the smoke is coming out of the tires. The smoke is coming out of the tires because the tires are spinning enough, they are getting hot and creating that rubber. Uh, well, the rubber is burning and it creates that smoke. Then we have, whoops, then we have a drill that is creating a hole. Notice how hot it gets. Notice that it turns red from all of the friction and then it creates a hole. So then we have this, oh, and then we have the little, the little geese or the ducks that are sliding down the slide. I think that's just silly. Oh, and then we have um, <clears throat> this diagram here where it shows a triangle and a square. Now, don't worry about these little lines, but basically what it's telling you is that this square is going to slide down the triangle. But while it's sliding down, it is creating friction in between this line here. And that is because the weight of the box pushing down and it's sliding is gonna create uh, friction. And the box is going to be restricted. That's why it's not gonna slide down like uh, as fast as like the duck here sliding down the slide. So I'd like you guys to go ahead and watch the other video on friction and then complete the activity afterwards. I hope you guys enjoy the video.